Hello, welcome to tip number four for the DJI Phantom. This tip is to water resist your Phantom. Not waterproof, but it will save you if it falls in a lake or ocean or some other body of water. As for parts that you need, it's pretty simple. Uh, we start with the Phantom. So here you have mine, which has mounted the Gropners, the props, the 8x5. Mm. And the special adaptation from my other tip on how to reduce vibration. I also have uh, a pool bar. Uh, this is a float. You can buy the decathlon. It's really cheap, like three euros or four euros. Uh, this is actually half of it. It's much bigger. Uh, chopping board and two plastic ties and a knife. Any knife will do. Um, you just need to cut the float to size. So what I do is I measure it a bit. I It's not very detailed work. So I leave three fingers as of the landing gear, front and back and I cut it more or less that size. You can always reduce it afterwards, so I mean, if you want to cut it four fingers, even better to each side. Mm. Uh, to cut it, I cut it around because this is foam, so if you try to cut right through, it normally sort of comes off in a weird way. So I just go cutting it around and around and around until it chops off. And after you cut the first one, just make the same measurement for the second one. Again, nothing really technical, just more or less. It just needs to float, and the good thing about these floats, and the reason I bought them, is that they have a huge flotation ability, so you don't need a lot of material to support the weight of the Phantom. I actually tested this in the bathtub with the shower, so I put some water on the bottom and let the water rise while filling up the bathtub and made sure that it float. So when you have them, the next thing is making an insert in the middle. So more or less see the size of the landing gear and make one good cut in the middle of the float. You see that I still do leave the three fingers on one side and three fingers on the other, more or less. It just has to be the size of the landing gear. So what I do is first make one cut as such see that it's more or less the size that it could go in actually just cut it a bit smaller so here I go widening the cut a bit there you go and I do another parallel cut right next to it so this is like four millimeters to the side right next and across the length this is so that the landing gear will fit I make one horizontal cut here and one on the other side so I can take out the remnant foam. So you can see you just pull it out and it comes out pretty good. <laughs> there you go. So you now have a vertical hole right in the center of the float that your landing gear that your landing gear will fit perfectly in. Here you can see the hole. How it is pretty straightforward. <coughs> just gonna cut it just a bit more deeper so it goes in easier and now I do exactly the same cut in the other float for the other landing gear same thing so half a, half a centimeter aside five millimeters Just make the parallel cut. Here I missed a part, so here I go again. I bought the phosphorant yellow ones because they're easy to see when it's flying, actually, and if you fly far away. But they also had other colors. I don't know, there was a blue, a red, etc. You see, I can actually almost stick my finger in just to get the remnant foam out. And when... So when you've got all the remnant foam out, you just slot in the landing gear on one side and on the other and you can see that it 
still wobbles a little bit to the sides. So what we are going to do now is with the plastic tie, you need one that fits completely around the, the float. You just tie it only in the middle. You don't need another one for this. I mean, you don't need two or three. Just right in the middle, in between the landing gear legs, and you tighten it a lot. So the more you tighten, the better. Well, at least it doesn't cut into the float. So now you can see that with that tighten, the, the landing gear doesn't move at all with the float. With these on, I have no problem of flying over water. If there's any emergency, it'll just land and float on whatever lake or ocean I'm trying to film.